Completing those trials was no small feat, and you should be proud of your accomplishment. However, we have no time to bask in glory. It is time to venture to Olympus and stop Ares and Circe. I fear my mother's soul will not survive whatever plan they have concocted. I have had a disturbing vision in which Zeus is not only defeated, but cast into Tartarus to join his father Kronos in eternal limbo, never to return. I have seen his crown, a source of immense power, resting on the brow of another, determined to bring about destruction. As much as his dalliances with mortals vex me to no end, I do not wish Zeus to perish. If anyone is going to torment him for all eternity, it's going to be me. While the gods may be mighty, they are not without their shortcomings. They are oftentimes petty, Jealous, greedy, and prideful. I do not expect that they will forgive our trespass, even if it is to save my mother, Queen of the Amazons. If that means I must clash with the gods, then so be it. Olympus in its majesty was made for one as glorious as myself. But I don't want to just be a guest. I want to rule. And in order to do that, I need Zeus's crown. Ares has been predictable and oh so typically easy to manipulate. Once the crown is mine, the world will know me for the goddess I truly am. Olympus, home of the gods, has remained pristine for eons. I am full of pride to rule over such a place, and in turn, it is lucky to have such a wise and powerful king. I pity any who dare challenge mighty Zeus for the crown of Olympus, for they shall feel the full wrath of the king of the gods. Son of Zeus and God of War. But there comes a time when a son must move out from under the shadow of his father. That time is now. Especially when the father has become old and complacent. More interested in the wiles of mortal women than in ruling. I shall be Ares, God of Olympus. And war will reign. Will comply. I have seen a great danger rise on Mount Olympus. It will threaten not only the gods, but the mortal world as well. You likely cannot stop it, but I know you will try. I will meet you at the outer gates. Hera, guide my attack.
I shall now open the gates of Olympus for you to enter. But beware, you are mortals in the realm of gods. Your presence here is blasphemy, and your lives are in great peril. Oh no, it's not. Diana, it is a joy to see a daughter of Themyscira in her battle-bred glory, but it is with profound disappointment that I must fight you and your friends. The grounds of Olympus are for the feet of gods alone. I'm sorry to disappoint you, mighty Athena, but you will find that my friends are very strong. I warn you, I am Athena, goddess of war. That is but an annoying scratch. Time to finish this. Bring down a rain of arrows upon them. You will fall. For the glory of the gods. Risk the fury of a god. Allies, to the south! You think you are worthy to fight a beam? That is but an annoying scratch. Draw inspiration from these foolish invaders. Reinforcements to all quadrants, quickly! If we cover all the quadrants, I bet we can stop them from deploying more ballistae. Well struck! Now it's my turn! I warned you! <laughs> you have courage to strike a god! <laughs> For mortals, you fight with the ferocity of the gods. I commend you. You have bested Athena, and that is no small feat. But might alone will not protect you against greater gods traveled to Hecata's workshop to retrieve the elixir of ambrosia, which will bolster your vitality and provide protection while on Olympus.
dares enter my workshop uninvited. Wise Hecate, we would not dare disturb you if the situation were not dire. My mother's soul is in danger, and we come seeking the elixir of ambrosia to aid us in battle. My concerns are not for you, child, or your mother. I wish to work my enchantments in peace. Now be gone. You vex me! My followers, join me. Oh, leave me be. I shall reciprocate. I take refuge in the defense of the moonlit night. Ah. You annoy the mother of spells. I shall reciprocate in kind. That look into the light of the full moon. Oh, leave me be. As the moon waxes, I feel my power grow. Ah. Ah. You vex me. Very well. Take the elixir and leave me to my work. Make sure the elixir is ready to use at a moment's notice. What mortals dare set foot on Olympus? And you among them, Diana. I expected better of you. Mighty Zeus, I ask of you to forgive the trespass. We are here to rescue the soul of my mother. She was taken by Ares and Circe. Is this true, Ares? What can I say? The Themyscirin woman of wonder speaks the truth. No magic lasso needed. For what purpose? For the purpose of ripping the crown from your insufferable brow. No god or mortal is powerful enough to take my crown. Your time on the throne is over, old man. I will strike all of you down. Power of my mighty lightning will be the end of you! 
How dare you strike mighty Zeus! Ha! You'll have to do better than that! You cannot hurt Zeus! I shall admonish you all! Can you withstand even a fraction of my power? Hela, protect me! For that I shall cast you out! Uh, no mortal can survive my wrath! Uh. Ha! You'll have to do better than that! Can you withstand even a fraction of my power? How dare you strike mighty Brother, Zeus! You will never learn to think before you strike. Your actions brought these mortals here. And how dare you, you use the Queen of the, the Amazons of against our father! May your soul return to your body on Themyscira. Thank you, wise Athena. Father, these mortals had no choice but to... Hera! Ha! <laughs> it's about time you showed up. We had a deal? Here is the crown you so covet, Circe. Wear it while you may. No! You traitorous witch! Mm. Mm. I could get used to this. It's him! He returns to Olympus! To slay the king of the gods! Count Olympus will run red with the blood of godly arrogance, as I, Typhon, god of monsters, take what I want from this puny pretender who wears the crown of Zeus. Wait, what? Monsters shall rule the world. Typhon has always wanted to destroy the gods, starting with the crown. Well done, mother. You've doomed us all. I may have indeed, but it was the only way to save Zeus. I suppose I could have told you about my vision of Typhon from the start, how he would return from his imprisonment under Mount Etna to defeat and destroy Zeus. But we gods are set in our ways, and I knew Circe could be manipulated to take the crown Typhon wishes to wear. Curse that tentacle to that was my crown! Careful what you wish for, my dear Circe. Be thankful you have your life, Circe. Without that victory stone, you never would have survived that attack. Oh, shut up, Diana. Seems as though Typhon not only took your crown, but your wit as well. Ha ha! Gloat while you can! I shall not remain beaten for long. Typhon will pay. This isn't good. Typhon is a terror. I'm going to check on my mother. I will see you soon.